From Thanksgiving to New Year's, it is the season of overindulging. Mm. Healthy eating uh, may not be at the top of the priority list, but it's easier to incorporate than you think. Good friend of the show, Nick Fischetti, a VCU health dietitian, is in the studio with us with some ideas that you can try at home or the next party that you go to. Welcome to the show, Nick. Great to see Thanks, you. Great. Thanks, All right, Nick, tell us why is it so difficult to uh, sort of stay on track healthy eating during the holidays? Well, we all love to go over the top in the holiday season, and why not? It's a great time to celebrate with friends and family, but you also have to remember that we need to keep a lid on what we're doing too. So everything in moderation, as we say at the hospital. Literally and figuratively with yes. that lid, right? <laughs> yeah. Because it's very easy. A lot of people have you over for the parties and they have all these great treats out there. Right. And it's just very easy to sit there and almost graze. Right, you wanna try one of everything and everything's, everybody's busting out their greatest recipes for the holidays. So of course. store them up all year long. <laughs> So if we go to one of these parties, what do you recommend? Well, there's two big tips that we give everybody for that. One is don't go to these parties on an empty stomach. It makes it really hard to make good choices when you're eating. Mm -hmm. The other thing too is if you really just limit your portion size, so pick a smaller plate. Don't pick the large one where you can pile everything on top of it. Get a smaller one. It will really just restrict on how much you can fit on it. Is it about self-discipline too, Nick? Yeah, I mean, you have to know what your limits are, and we don't want you to not try stuff. I mean, it's the holidays, so you it should is. indulge a little bit. But you also don't want to go over the top on every single thing, so kind of pick and choose what you really want to try. What do you recommend here? Well, what we've done here is we've made a lot of these things all from scratch, actually, but the secret to a lot of these holiday recipes is limiting what you add to the foods. So if you start out with a healthy product and then you're smart about what you add to it, you don't have to turn it into this really unhealthy recipe. So, for instance. So, it's the add ons really where the calories and the fat come in. Yeah, and salt too. So, what we've done here is we've actually we did a homemade applesauce. Homemade applesauce. This looks delicious, by the it's way. It's really easy. You just take regular apples, leave the peel on because that's where most of the nutrients are and fiber, chop it up real small, cook it in a slow cooker for a couple hours, and it's done. Add that's a little it. spices. That's it. So because they are so naturally sweet, you don't necessarily have to add sugars. No, not at all. And they're not going to be missing it as well. No, you would. I, most people don't even notice the difference. And so that would take, you know, other than the preparation, really not long at all. No, and it makes the house smell great too. It does, it does. Okay, what else do we have here, Nick? Uh, we have some roasted butternut squash, and mm -hmm. this is just topped with some maple syrup and different herbs as well. You can add in other vegetables. Brussels sprouts go really well with this dish if you want to add some more green to it and it's a nice balance of healthy vegetables and it can be a salad, it can be a main course, you can really add other nuts and seeds to it. You can do you can do a lot of different things with it. And Nick, Brussels sprouts are really being rediscovered. I noticed them on menus all across mm -hmm. town now and people are discovering them, not just rediscovering, but discovering them. Yeah, and they're one of those cruciferous vegetables, which is a key word in the nutrition world. That means they're packed with different nutrients, fiber, they have a lot of good stuff for you. And so it really would be considered a superfood? It's one of those, it's in the same family as broccoli. broccoli. Okay, so, what do we have here? And up here we have a, a roasted pork tenderloin. Now mm -hmm. the secret with these is it's a nice alternative to hams and one of those salted cured meats. So you just get the plain old pork tenderloin, which is a really lean meat by itself. And the secret what we did here is we marinated it overnight in a low sodium Italian marinade that lets the meat absorb all the flavors overnight. Then you just throw it in the oven the next day when people come over, let it roast for 30 minutes sit for five so that the juices don't spill everywhere, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Don't be turned off by the low fat or no low sodium, because some people want that full flavor, but right. some of these products that they have now, they taste really good. Right, and it's all about how much you add. Even if you do want to just go with, you know what, I really want a little bit of butter on here. Okay, just go easy with it. Don't add the whole stick. No, stick. All right, how about this? We have uh, some, looks like some desserts. Yeah, so these are our healthy holiday cookies, and these are probably the easiest recipe we have. They exist? Healthy holiday cookies? <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> right here. What, what, what's, in the, uh, what's in the ingredients? So it's actually just a couple ripe bananas. You mash them all up. Okay. You add quick oats, so the instant ones that you can make in a minute, yeah. and then whatever fillers you want. So these ones in particular have raisins, chocolate chips, and cinnamon. Then you put them on a baking sheet and that's it, they're done.
Do you put them in the oven, the oven for, for how long? 15, 20 minutes. That's it? Yeah. So the bananas act as that uh, foundation, if right. you will. Exactly. And it's kind of, I know a lot of people that eat that for breakfast. They do bananas, oatmeal, raisins. It's just in a cookie form, so it adds some dessert treats to it. All right, we have just a few seconds. We want to wash it down. What do we have here? This is just a, a basic water infusion with different citrus fruits and cranberries. It's a nice alternative to really sugary, sweet drinks. You can also do this with seltzer water if you want a little fizz as well. All right. I'm feeling healthier already. Let's go yeah. to the party. <laughs> hey, Nick, thank yeah. you so much. It really is nice to see you. My pleasure. Happy holidays.